Hello again. Uh, last time in class we talked about ratios and uh, we said that a ratio is when you compare two numbers. A rate is also when you compare two numbers. When we talked about ratios we said that the quantities that we're comparing have, diff have the same something, the same units. But in fact for a rate they have different units. Now rates and ratios often um, have very similar properties. So often people say rates when they actually mean a ratio, or they say ratio when they mean a rate, and they mix them up. So a rate is when they have different units. So if you look at this example here, you see here we're comparing miles to minutes. Those units are different. That is what's important. It's not miles to miles or minutes to minutes. We're looking at units that are different. And so here it's miles to minutes, and this is what we call a rate. All right. Now, if I gave you two other miles and minutes numbers, for instance, if I said in 87 minutes you've gone 11 miles, would you be able to tell me which one was faster? And then it's not so easy because the numbers sort of throw you out and you have to really think about what you're doing. But if you go and find the value of one, for instance, if we knew how, far, um, how long it took to just go one mile for both people, we'd know who was faster. If I knew um, how far you went in one minute, I would know out of the two people, if you said for one minute this person, one minute for that person in terms of distance, I would know which was faster. So knowing the value of one is always very, very useful. And it just makes the maths easier to understand. And so I'm going to demonstrate with a very simple question. Let's pretend you have three pens. And altogether at the shop, they charged you 36 euros. How do you work out the value of one pen? Stop the video, decide and write down. When you're ready, here we go. So hopefully what you said was, I did 36 divided by 3. But I don't want you to think like that. You need to think with the units. What you should be saying is, you take the price in euros and you divide by the number of pens. Okay? That is what we're trying to do. Euros divided by the pens. Because the numbers will always change. It will change its cost and it will change the number of pens. You're never only just going to ever buy three pens. They're never only just going to be that cost. If you think in terms of the units, you will be able to do all the questions. If you think in just the numbers here, you can only do this one question. And I know you'd rather be able to do everything, not just one thing. But once I know this is euros, then I know that this number is going with the euros word. And I know that this number goes here because it matches the pens. The 36 divided by 3 is 12 euros. Now, when we do this sort of calculation, and we've got this slash mark, what you've actually worked out is what we call euros per pen. Or it's the cost of one pen. So one pen is equal to 12 euros. Now, the power of that is you can work any number. So stop the video and work out how much it's going to be for two pens. Now you know this. OK, press go. Easy peasy. If one pen is 12, two pens is two lots of that. So two lots of 12 is 24 euros. OK, stop the video. Do the next three. Then come back and see what happens. You're back. Let's go then. So, 28 pens. Well, if I know one pen is 12 and I've got 28, I have 28 lots of that one. So I'm going to times them together and find my price. Half a pen. Well, I'm going to have half of this. So it's a half of 12, which is 6 euros. What if it's 0.6 of a pen? Doesn't matter if it's a decimal. You times by 12 and you will get the answer. And you just keep going along like that. So this last one is actually 7.2. Let me just get that here. I just did plan that. Euros. Every time. Okay? And the 28 by 12 you should have got was 336 euros. And what we're doing, we could work out all of those because we knew the cost of one pen. That's what's important. And this is how you can work out questions very, very quickly.